Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter! Boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. And I am sitting outside of Dunkin' Donuts, a different Dunkin' Donuts than I usually uh, do my reviews at. But I just finished my vlog. It is 8.40 a.m. on the dot. And um, I know it is much a surprise to many of you that I'm actually up, because I am uh, good for sleeping in till noon. <laughs> I love to sleep in so much. But anyway, so it is 8.40 a.m. And I just got done with my vlog uh, because I went to bed really, really early last night. So if you don't know, I have a vlog channel where I vlog for like an hour every night. It's, some people say it's like a podcast. Okay. So anyway, I was like, well, I'm going to go through Dunkin' Donuts early because I want to try this uh, brownie donut, which I don't even really like brownies. But so many people have told me about this donut. And I keep on going through here and I can't get it because they're always out of it by the time that I go through. So when I went through the other day, the uh, really, really nice workers at Dunkin' Donuts, they told me that you have to come really early to get it. So it's 8.41 now a.m. And I'm hoping that I should go, that I should, I'm hoping that I should go through there. I'm going to go through there and I'm hoping that they will actually have this donut. I'm also going to try some other kind of drink. I'm really wanting one of those sauce, Beyond Sausage um, sandwiches too because they are so delicious. I love the fishes because they're so delicious. This is Peter with a full night's sleep. So we're gonna go through here, <clears throat> the Dunkin' Donuts. The line is very long. So while I was um, waiting for the line, actually the line is nowhere in comparison to what the Starbucks line looks like because I just drove by the Starbucks. The Starbucks line has like 200 people in line um, all, all waiting for there. Let me just tell you a little story, okay? so. Last night, for those of you that don't know, I have been sober 25 years, and um, last night I gave my lead. That's where you like go to a meeting and you tell your story. So I went and I picked up my good Judy, and she's like, we're getting a coffee at Starbucks, aren't we? Because I'm too tired for all this tonight. I've heard your story a million times. I said, Tanya G, my lord. She goes, well, I'm going for moral support. She goes, but I already know your story, and she does. So we went through the Starbucks, right? Okay, and she got what she always gets, which is a vental, a vental. <laughs> lentil vental. She got a venti caramel decaf vanilla latte with one with an extra shot of uh, uh, caramel and uh, whip. <laughs> she gets the same thing every single time. But hold on a second. I gotta finish my story. But first I gotta order. Thank you for keeping that food. Thank you for doing it. Uh, can I get a brown batter donut? Alright. Just one? Just one. Alright. And then can I get a Let's see. Can I get a small caramel craze latte iced? Small iced caramel craze? Yeah. What else can I get for you? That's it. Are you going to for it? All right, thank you. I've never had the caramel craze, has I? Have I? <laughs> has I? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so. Tanya Jean and I, we go through Starbucks. So I'm like, okay, I've already had my big coffee for the day. So I better have just a decaf. So it's seven o'clock, okay? 7.15 like that, we go through Starbucks. Seven, Starbucks is open until nine o'clock. And I go through there and the woman said, I don't remember the story exactly. So the woman said, I, I, I said, I'll have a venti caramel decaf vanilla latte with an extra shot of caramel and, uh, you know, Tanya. She's like, you know what I like. Tanya always says that. She's like, you know what I like. So I said, and then I'll have a grande decaf. And she said, oh, well, we're out of decaf. Would you like a, a pour over or something? And I said, sure. You know, like where you pour. They, okay. So I said, sure, that'd be great. I'm thinking to myself, you're a coffee place, okay? This kills me, like, when you go to McDonald's and they're out of french fries. Like, how is McDonald's out of french fries? You basically, that is your staple, okay? So she's like, well, we're out of decaf. And I'm like, okay, so you have two choices at Starbucks. Decaf and caffeinated, okay? And you're out of one of them. And you would think that more people would drink decaffeinated in the evening like in, than in the morning. So it would make sense that in the evening, I know I'm going to get all these Starbucks baristas that are going to be like, well, the reason why we do that is, and there's going to be like some really like legitimate reason. So anyway, so she says to me, okay, well, do you want like a decaf Americano? And I'm like, well, I would really prefer to have um, the pour over. $4.99. Hold on just a second, please. Thank you. I just said please to you people. <laughs> to you people. Oh my God, that looks so good. 
Thank you. Yeah, You're smiley today. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. He was so friendly. So anyway, so um, so then she says, "Do you want a decaf americano?" But she didn't say it like that. She goes, "Do you want a decaf americano?" And I didn't really. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, I didn't. Okay, I wanted the pour over. And I go, well, I wasn't really wanting that strong of a coffee. I guess I'll just go with the, um, the pour over or something like that. And she goes, okay, one decaf. She didn't want to do it is what it was all about. She just really didn't want to do it. <laughs> but anyway, so I got my decaf pour over and it sucks. It's still sitting there. Now it's cold from me. <gasps> oh my God, this donut is so pretty. I'm so excited. But it doesn't look like what I thought it would look like at all. I thought it would be like... A brownie. This coffee is, you can't really see, but I want to show you this. It's so beautiful on top. Can you see? It's got all of like the little caramels and stuff. Look at all that. Ah! I stopped the camera while I was doing that. I think that the Dunkin' Donuts drinks are so much better than the Starbucks signature drinks. So here, we're going to get a little thumbnail. You ready? Hold on. Look at that donut, how pretty it is. See, now it makes me wish that I was having a Valentine's Day party. <laughs> but then you gotta go, you gotta, you gotta write out the invitations and you gotta get everybody's address or do the e-invitations and nobody really wants to come to a Valentine's Day party and we're gonna be out of town anyway. So it's like, whatever. Here, let me try, try this caramel craze. Okay, I'm really excited about this. That's really good. Their iced drinks are the bomb. That's what the kids say. <laughs> they are though. This is really good. The caramel craze. Oh my God, don't get so crazy. <laughs> Somebody commented on my video on this channel the other day. And they said, are you making fun of somebody with the way that you're acting in this video? And I said, if you're not, I love you. <laughs> nope, this is me. This is all me. Okay, here's the donut. I thought for some reason, I don't know why, I thought it would be like a cake donut that just looked like a brownie, is what I thought. So I have no idea what this is going to be like. Well, so far there's nothing inside of it. Mmm. But, it does taste like a brownie because of the chocolate on the outside of it. That's interesting. Is it just basically a, a glazed donut? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh my God! Mmm. Well, that is good. So many people have commented and said, the brownie donut, the brownie batter donut. So I guess this is like brownie batter in the inside. So many, I'm trying to get it to focus. So many people have told me that the brownie batter donut was better like years ago. I don't know, this is my first year trying it, but I think it's pretty damn good. It's better than the Cupid Shuffle, or whatever that donut's called. <laughs> Did you ever do the Cupid Shuffle in the club back in the day? God, those were the days, weren't they? <laughs> How's that song go? <laughs> I love that song. To the left, to the left, whatever. Mm. This is really good. And I think a pretty healthy breakfast. <laughs> if, I'm, if I must say so myself, not at all. Look at that. You guys, it straight up tastes like the brownie batter mix in a bowl when you're making brownies. I think it's so good. And what's so funny about it is I'm not like a brownie person. I don't love brownies. I mean, I don't hate them. 
I mean, I would never say no if a brownie came knocking at my door. <laughs> would you? I mean, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I love brownies, donuts, cookies, and cakes. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> or a pie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to give this donut a 4.8. This is a damn good donut. This is really good. I'm going to give it a 4.8. Plus, look at all the heart-shaped sprinkles on it. They're so pretty. Here's my question now, okay? Why don't they ever give you napkins? Anywhere. It's like, here's my complaints, okay? Nobody ever wants to give a receipt anymore. And nobody ever wants to give you napkins when you go through fast food. It's just a mess of trouble. This caramel craze is good. I'm gonna give it a four. I mean, if you like caramel, I say caramel. I'm saying caramel for you guys, okay? See the things I do for you. If you like caramel, I would give this a four seven, four six, four seven. The one thing I love about the Dunkin' Donuts drinks, okay, I'll, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Like, the Starbucks drinks, you can't really taste the coffee in it. But the Dunkin' Donuts drinks, you can really taste the coffee in it. I mean, you can tell this is a coffee drink. At Starbucks, they, at Starbucks, they just drink, they just taste like milkshakes with frappuccinos because they don't have coffee base in them. And that's what I really like about the fact that, I mean, I like coffee coffee from Starbucks. But that's why I really, uh, I mean, if you want to, in all honesty, my favorite coffee of life is this Choo Choo Blend from the Monon Coffee Shop in Broderpool, Indiana, and it's this fair trade coffee. That is my favorite coffee of life. And uh, I have it in my, like, at home, in my freezer, and I go there and I get it, and I love it. But as far as, like, quick coffee, Starbucks is super, like, great, I think. I have it. I've had Dunkin' Donuts coffee like one time. I don't like it as much as Starbucks. But their coffee drinks are 100 times better at Dunkin' Donuts than at Starbucks. So that's the truth that I'm sticking to it. Anyway, let me know. Have you guys tried those? Are you excited about Valentine's Day? Oh my God, you better spend this weekend trying to find somebody to love. I'm just saying. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.